Hi everyone, this is Who Gets the Glory, and uh, please bear with me, as you could probably tell from yesterday's video, I've got a bit of a head cold. Um, your prayers are appreciated. Uh, I don't have a fever or anything, so I don't have to worry about COVID. But um, today we're reading Devotions for a Deeper Life for March 5th. Because as he is, so are we in this world. 1 John 4, 17. Those of us who are God's children stand in holy reverence when we read the above verse of scripture. It can only mean one thing. The image, character, and holiness of Jesus Christ are in his sanctified ones. They are consequences of his sovereign right of creation. Sanctification means that I am taken into that mystical union which no language can define. Beloved, now we are the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that, when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 1 John 3, 2 It is one thing for God to claim me, quite another thing for me to allow him to make that claim real. It is one thing to realize in speechless wonder that I can be sanctified, that my heart can be turned to worship, but it is another thing to tell God that I want him to realize his claim in me. I can hear someone say, do you mean to tell me, Brother Chambers, that I, an ordinary human being, with ordinary commonplace work, surrounded by ordinary commonplace people, with no particular education, that I can be a new creation in Christ Jesus? Yes, I am saying all of this. Let God realize his claim in you. Let Jesus Christ make his creation good in you. Prayer Thought Create in me the attributes of righteousness, Lord, which will identify me as your child. Suggested reading, 1 John 4, 1-17. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.